How can we explain that we were born to one day die? At every moment, our cells age a little more, and we die of this slow debacle. But why does life program its own death? It is at the very least paradoxical, if one thinks of the energy that the living unfolds to live. Over the course of generations, should not natural selection have eliminated the genes that ultimately are fatal to us? Here lies precisely the secret. Or rather timing. For if death is unacceptable at the level of the individual, it is quite the opposite on the scale of the species. If we die, it is because the finality of life is not its preservation, but its perpetuation. Once the individual has fulfilled its mission of reproduction, natural selection no longer preserves it. So, it is our faculty to give life which, mechanically, signs our death warrant. In order to understand this surprising conclusion, one must have in mind an intangible law within a single species, between an individual with a short longevity, but reproducing abundantly and a long-lived individual, the first will obtain the favors of natural selection via a greater diffusion of its genes during the generations. The proof all the genes that manifest deleterious effects leading to the decrepitude of the organism activate after the age of reproduction. Hence the perpetuation in our genome, of the genes that lead to senescence, if they have not been eliminated over generations, it is because they do not harm the individual's ability to, to reproduce. Huntington's disease, a genetic disease responsible for brain degeneration, affects her victims from the age of 35, that is, after they have supposedly obtained a progeny. If this disease were triggered earlier, it could be assumed that these individuals would eventually have been eliminated. Depressing, in any case, as soon as living organisms are no longer able to reproduce, natural selection allows the deleterious mutations to accumulate in their genomes, which lead them to an inevitable death. Do these harmful genes confer some advantages? such as better reproductive ability or greater vitality in the prime of life. Scientists have observed mice whose longevity has been genetically increased. As a result, they were not, in return, a greater vitality, but various disorders such as dwarfism and a very marked decrease in fertility or even complete infertility. Finally, the laws of evolution do not seem to have a program dedicated to the natural death of organisms. Death is not part of any long-term strategy. It is only a collateral effect in race to reproduce between organisms undergoing random mutations. Some genotypes have made those who carried them best breeding, which eventually made them majority. If we die, it is to give life better.